Hello there, friends. Welcome to Chernobylite. I hope you are all well. I sound like an alien in this mask. I've been scavenging for days in Ukraine here, and I have found some G fuel, which is 30% off this weekend. How exciting, brothers! Use code ESO to get 30% off. And if you'll excuse me, before we start, I'm trying to pour myself some hype sauce. Oh, yes. It's very hard to see in this. Oh. Fantastic. Give it to me. It's good to see you all in the chat. I just tried to put this on this. That's not how it works. I can't see very much though, so bear with me friends. And then we can start on episode 4. What's with the mask? This is, this is my face. This is what I need to survive. The casual advertisement of PewDiePie there. Okay, let's get all this G fuel I've scavenged out of the way. So we can begin the stream. Oof. Oof. It's like 30 degrees in here. <laughs> Look at my beard. <laughs> it's 30 degrees in here and wearing a, a, a mask. Oof. My goodness. I hope you're all well. Are you ready to start part four of Shinobalite? I'm very excited, friends. Let me get the chat so I can see you all. Couldn't even see what you guys were saying. It was it was so uh, immersive in there. Maybe I'll put it back on and we can we can do like if there's any parts of the game today that means I need to wear a gas mask. We can put it back on. I think that would be good fun. Anyway, guys, if if you're just joining the stream, thanks for joining. Uh, this is Chernobylite. It's a Fallout stalker-like inspired game. That I've been very much enjoying these last few days. So if you've missed the first parts of our playthrough, they're all linked down below in the playlist in the description. Uh, and you can also buy the game down there if you like what you see. We're playing the full version. They've given me early access to it. Excuse me. That was a very hot mask for the intro there. I can smell you. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's carry on. We've just woken up. See if there's any new missions for us. Hello, friends. Igor, I need a minute. What's going on? Something's up. NAR is being really active on the radio. They're looking for someone, supposedly a traitor and a thief. I managed to pinpoint for me? the location. It's Kopachi, the village near the Pripyat River. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something important, or have access to useful gear. What do you think he could know? Passwords, credentials, uniforms, even rations. And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. If you're we smart need rations. and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. I'm glad you see my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. I'm not convinced. Why are we meeting with this traitor? Let's have a look out here. So, this game was, um, for those of you guys asking, this game was made by a very small indie company uh, in Poland, I believe. And they actually went out to Chernobyl and they um, scanned all of these areas. Um, and they recreated kind of like zones. So each one of these places is like a separate open world area that you can visit. But it's not like a fully connected open world game um, because obviously that would require a huge budget so we've got three companions now um we recruited one last episode i'm going to turn up the game volume slightly um and you guys can see here chernobyl has the moscow eye we've done a lot of exploring in that location but today we're going to go to capachi 
which I think was actually in the original Stalker game as well. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it looks like there's a helicopter flying over here, so we're going to have a lot of enemy attention, I'm sure. So we're going to do that main mission. And then we can send our followers off to do something else. So let's get... Oh no, I want to do... I want to do this one. We'll send uh, our followers to... Yeah, I'll let them go to the center of Chernobyl. You can go there, Oliver. Here's a 66% chance of success. That seems fine. Um, and then we'll go and get Michael to go to the food drop, I reckon. There we go. We're all done. So let us begin. I am sure, yes. Throw me into the warp, brother. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. But can you ever trust a traitor, Igor? Yes. Trust is such a fragile thing, earned at a great price, yet so easily lost. But you never lost your trust in me, right, my love? So we're trying to find our wife. I'm like 99% sure she's 100% dead. Uh, we lost her during the explosion, but we don't know what happened to her. We don't know the reason that she might have died. Probably radiation poison, but we'll find out. That's part of the storyline, as well as all these other quests we're going on. And since it's currently raining, we're going to have some kind of shadows covering us. So we've not been here before, but there's some random events we're going to be checking out on our way to the main mission. So let's go and check out this one on the corner here. First off. It's all in Russian. There's a lot of names here, though. I wonder if these are the people who... It is a little bit of a spooky horror game, guys. I don't know what happened there. I think I may have missed whatever happened. But there was a spooky noise. So while we're out here, we also need to be collecting uh, ingredients like mushrooms in order to help us survive. So there's going to be a lot more scavenging this episode than you guys have seen previously if you've been following the playthrough so far. So actually going to run back and grab these other ingredients. Just because we really need everything we can get. Especially now we have a team of three people. That means we've got to look after everyone at once. There's a massive green cloud over here. I've never seen this before. I don't know if this is kind of like an environmental effect. Or maybe I need my gas mask for it. Interesting. I'm not going to go in there anyway. I'm going to head through the path there. I assume I'll get tons of radiation if I go in there. Next place you want to go is over here, I think. But we're going to see if we can loot up this house. Oh my god, getting some raids. Rads. Very randomly. Can't hear anyone in here. Usually when there's humans, you'll hear them talking. Oh shit, shit, fuck, fuck, fuck. I got a shotgun, so I've only got nine shots, but I'm just going to sit on my oh! back against the wall. There we go. We're good, we're good. The shotgun absolutely destroys these guys. I thought I was safe. Where the hell does this go? I'm not going to jump down there yet. By the way, if you're wondering why everything's highlighted, I can scan stuff over here. That was locked, but I just picked it. Uh, okay, what do we have? Because of the, the radiation storm, I think we're going to see a few of those alien-like creatures. Yeah, it, it has... It, it's, it actually is unique compared to, like, you know... It takes elements of all the things I like from Fallout 4 and Stalker, and it does something different with it like in terms of like psychological aspects like if you kill humans for example then we're gonna have to be careful when we go down here because that there may be enemies oh one sec let me equip a uh, quick menu two now when i press two should equip my pistol which is silenced 
I don't actually know if there's a way out of here, so. We'll see. Yeah, there's a lot of psychological aspects. So if you kill humans, your sanity will actually lower. Uh, so you can't just, like, all out gun and run very easily unless you have the appropriate equipment. There's nothing else down here, is there? I thought there'd be, like, a secret down there, but there wasn't really. Yeah, the thing can teleport, like... Because like, that's where I was sitting with my back against the wall, so it couldn't teleport behind me. <laughs> I was trying to... The noises are very creepy in this game, like... We really do need to scavenge as much as we can. Oh, I missed that. I just love the environment, though, like... All of the, um... 3D... Photogrammetry scanning, it's called. Which we know they're using for Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6. Because Bethesda kind of revealed that in a recent trailer. Um... I think it was in the Noclip documentary. They showed some of their screens and some of the new technology they were using. Which I already did a video about. But um, So, you know, like you can see how beautiful the game can look with such um, technology being used. This area has a lot more dense forest in it. There's something in here. I can you see it. You see those two guys over there? In the distance? We gotta watch out. We don't need to go that way. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and deal with them right now. But we'll save the game quickly just to I'll save the game quite a lot because if you die it's kinda like a bit screwed. There's like a a lookout post up there. Oh oh one sec. What's that? I don't know if that's a person in there. I can see something though. Help! Please! Help! Brother! Are you pinned? You're next! Whoa, what? What? Is it because I looted him? He got like triggered. Mate, I don't like the sound of that. Now there's. Okay, we leveled up. There's gonna be something near me, isn't there? Oh, I feel bad for looting him now. Oh, we got some alcohol. Alcohol is good because it actually makes you give less of a crap when you kill people, like, psychologically speaking. I'm actually just going to run and uh, loot this thing over here. We need all the mushrooms and stuff we can get. Quality lower to 720p. Uh, it should be um, 10 I mean, at least 1080. Everything's randomly spawned there, so it's kind of like different every time you come. I think we're safe here, though. For now, at least. There's actually nothing up here anyway. But they've clearly built some kind of lookout post here, which is interesting. So our objective is actually just over here. This is the traitor we're meeting. I'm going to check out these houses quickly as we go, though. Oh, I'm getting rads over here. I'm not for 25 rads. Getting high with mushrooms and killing people. Essentially, the kind of gameplay we're looking at here. Look sharp, this asshole's gotta be around here somewhere. Eyes open. I don't need any more shit from Kozlov. I know, I know, damn Samishels. Nothing but thieves, drifters, and lunatics. Why lunatics? What sane person would choose to live in this irradiated wilderness? We asked them nicely to leave, yet they're still fucking resisting. Hey, you're right. I wouldn't be here either, but they pay better than the army. They must be looking for our mystery guy. I don't even know where the people are who are speaking right now. Make a quick save here. 
losing quality. Yeah, it was a bit of laggy. Dropped to 720. That's really weird. Let me check, guys. Um... Check your stream quality. I am, don't worry. It says excellent connection for me. So that's, it's really weird. Is that all of you experiencing that? Let me just quickly watch it myself and check. Um. I don't know why it's happening, guys. I mean, I'm watching and it looks, it looks fine for me. Maybe it's YouTube. Does it seem to be okay? That's gone now. Okay, it's just random. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what happened uh, yesterday, but um, I uploaded um, the next part, and it literally took like three hours for YouTube to render, um, to like process the video. So I'm just gonna walk around because I, I literally can't see where these soldiers are, and I think we'll be okay for now. Is there anything oh actually there's some meds in there we do want to get in here shotgun shell oh there's actually a shotgun that's a fully upgraded shotgun though okay so we're gonna um add this to our quick slot on number three since it has like loads of attachments I assume the soldiers are going to be down here where there's houses. I'm a little bit confused how I could see them and not hear them. You drop inside. I love these holes in the ground though. Oh, there's a red dress. Hey, don't hurt me. I'm, I'm unarmed. Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I know traitor. I was never even with the NAR. You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off. And... And what? One thing led to another, and you understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so they cooked up this yarn about a traitor. Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. You're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in Mikhail's warehouse. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably Pretty worried sus. about me. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. Uh, no, you're not. We have no idea who this guy is, Igor. If we turn him loose, he could run straight back to NAR and trade our lives for their forgiveness or some other kind of deal. Don't you even think about letting him go, at least not before combing through his stuff. Let him go. Try to search him. Hmm, what do we want to do, guys? What do you reckon? By the way, I just want to give a shout out. Jordan, thank you so much for the donation. Danny, my friend, I apologize for the absence. I live in the country where the internet is a myth. Don't love the channel, bro. No worries, dude. I'm glad you can still watch. And we the people, thanks for the $20 super chat. Been rocking with my brother since before anyone knew your voice. Get wrecked, my friend. Oh, dude, back in the day when all my videos were text-based. And Bryke's Laps. Thank you so much for the donation as well, dude. Really appreciate that, man. Um, okay, let me... It, some people are saying it's still lagging and then it's better. For me, my call is my my uh, on stream labs. It says my my internet is absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with the stream quality. So I know it's YouTube. Search him. Okay, let's search. Sorry, him. but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? And let's take a little look, see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. Let him go or stop him. What do you guys think? He might dislike us if we let him, if we, if we, uh, if we stop him. Because this could be like a potential follower, but we just don't know it yet. So do bear that in mind. What do you guys reckon? 
Let him go, I'll stop him. Stop. Search. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll stop him. Let him go, okay? You guys are saying let him go. We've got a few... There's, this is quite... This is quite evenly split. Let's stop him. We're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler or maybe you're a spy. I can't just let you walk away. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Ball's in your court, asshole. Oh, kill him or let him go. We're just going to completely leave him as a source of information if we, if we kill him. I'm not going to kill him because that would... In this game, you can literally kill some NPCs and you completely stop the quest line, so I'm gonna let him go. Guess that one was a colossal fucking waste of time. Great. Your status with Oliver got worse. Your current status is bad. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. I 100% guarantee that this guy. Lol, it stopped him from being followed. He almost got crushed though. I guarantee he's an NPC and he'll have a continuation of the story. I like that it gave us like an option to be like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> can I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Can I go this way? I can go this way, but I just can't. Oh yeah. Oh sick, you can move this. That's cool. I honestly didn't expect that. Don't crush me, please. Sacrifice kill. There were so many of you in the chat spamming kill. I didn't even let you decide the last one. I'm glad I didn't. Okay, so there's another interesting going on over there. But there's also some things to loot over here. I was going to quickly save the game here. He was sus, yeah. I don't know, maybe he comes back to bite us in the ass the wrong way. I kind of want to find out, though, you know? I don't want to just kill someone. Like, we literally dropped in on him. He wasn't... We were holding a gun to him, remember? He wasn't threatening us. He was just hiding from the NAR. So he's not our enemy. He's the NAR enemy. I think it would have been quite silly to just kill him. Oh, Jesus, there's loads of soldiers right ahead. I want to sneak up to them. There's two guys. Oh, no, there's, there's like three... There's four guys there. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're not going to go that way. We're going to... We're going to sneak around to the north because there's another objective over there before we go back. You can't be betrayed if you eliminate the threat. True. <laughs> IQ 100, my friend. I'm not even going to go and grab that paint bucket or whatever it is. Where am I? Can I climb up here? No. Some of the terrain you can climb. Other things just seem to be impossible. I can see things under the ground. But I don't really know how to get to them. There must be a way under somehow. I just love walking around these environments, though. Yeah, this goes downstairs. Which I'm a little bit sus about. Don't like this. So you see that thing in green over there? I think that's a clue about where Tatiana could be. Getting my gun out. So this is lock pickable. Wait, is this? This looks very similar 
to my old office that we saw in the flashback near the start of the game. Do you guys remember? It's an old server room. It could be like a KGB spying facility in this bunker here. Christ, what kind of experiments have the KGB been conducting? Yeah. Is the NAR trying to continue their work? Note one, object, weight, age, and overall condition. So they were submitting radiation doses to people and experimenting on them just to see what happened to them. Estimate dose rates per 75 kilograms, 35-year-old Caucasian. All doses are accurate doses, one per hour. Following... Oh, Jesus, that's a bit dark. I think this place is abandoned, but just be careful. I don't want any old spirits coming out of the woodwork to attack me. I can hear some weird moaning sounds. So that's one exit to this bunker. There was another way to go, though. Oh, yeah, it's just another exit. Free entrances into a bunker isn't very secret, KGB. Right, let's have another look on the map. So we've got a bunch of things to go and discover down here. So I want to go south next. See what we can find. And we're just going to pick up these plants as we go. We need all these ingredients. Is it a combination of Metro and Stalker? It definitely has like the storyline of Metro, but with open a lot of open world aspects like stalker and the settlement building from fallout 4 so there's kind of like a lot of elements intertwined into one there are some real horror moments as well these dolls all are always very sus looks like we can get on the roof here or not What's this? Oh, just some gun case ammo. Anything in there? That's not the entrance. Yeah, the frame rate isn't great, like, for me. It's just poorly balanced. My specs are, like, really, really good. So, you know, it's just poorly optimized. So you've got to go directly... Sort of this way, I think. Is that south? It's not actually a compass on my HUD, which is kind of annoying now I now I think about it. Is this game out already? So I've got the full release version, but it's in early access for everyone else. This is the children's play park. It's always so unnerving, these play parks. Which I guess are quite a common sight in Chernobyl. They've got to go down here and then left. But we need to be careful because the soldiers were over there. That we avoided earlier. So this is the compound. There's a lot of weird goings on in here, so I'll save the game again. Whenever you walk in open forest spaces, the frame rate starts dropping. It could be the draw distance, you know, like just bad optimization. And they've got so many plants everywhere. Maybe if I turn down the draw distance. 
Um, do they have advanced options? Yeah. Now you said that. Let's just put it at 84, see if it makes any difference. I mean, you literally can't tell, right? Because it's like the forest is so dense. It already feels smoother, you know? But there's kind of like a, a micro stutter. Every now and again, like your frames will drop. There's another clue here. Splinter, the KGB operator's nickname. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was. Splinter is his nickname. Respectfully, I'd like to appeal to you on behalf of the field operatives, codenamed Agent Splinter. He's a good communist and a fantastic surveillance officer. So we kind of learned that the KGB was spying on Katiana, Tatiana, our wife. That's what we know so far. Now we know that the agent's codename is Splinter, I think. Comrade Marklov, I personally handpicked Agent Splinter during his studies at Lane Grad Polytechnics. I think that could be... Did we study there? Or do we have a connection to that place? And I can vouch for both his, both his integrity and usefulness to our department's current operations. As much as I appreciate the work and input of our staff's psychiatrist, Dr. Brunhanov, I feel very strong need to emphasize the urgency of our current assignment that, in my opinion, deems such consideration secondary. Therefore, I would like to ask you about my re my request to reinstate Agent Splinter. Oh, so he was taken off the case for some reason. He experienced some minor personal difficulties. But I don't know. Something to do with the Duga project again has come up. Interesting. We've heard mention of that a few times now, but I don't know what it actually is. So that was the clue we found. And there's loads of Chernobylite over here, so this usually means bad things. Some dead NAR soldiers. So these creatures use Chernobylite as like an energy source to kill people. I don't know if there's anything on the other side of this that I can find. No, nothing. Let's go and check out these other houses quickly. And there's some more herbs. Will there be a stream recorded? Yes. So you can follow along after if you want to know the whole story and watch the previous episodes. There's a whole playlist. Oh, okay, I'm not getting radiation here. I was a little bit worried because of all the nuclear fallout signs. It looks like there's a way... Aha! Okay, there's... I love the little underground holes everywhere. So, there's a little base down here. That's caved in, though. There's a way out down there. place looks very abandoned. We, I made loads of lockpicks before coming. And there's another revolver. Your inventory is full. Oh no. Uh, okay. I don't really want to get rid of anything just for a revolver. I mean, I'm sure we'll come back here at some point. So, not the end of the world. And there's a crafting station. But I don't need to use that because I've actually got one at base camp now. Right, we can get out of here through this time. Oh! What the fuck is this guy? Oh, Vagabond. We met hey, him before. You. Jesus H. Christ, you startled me. Never, ever do that again while I'm working. In fact, never do that, period, whether I'm <laughs> working or not. I have one, sir. Skipped frames detected. Ah, that will be from um, the frame rate that dropped there. I couldn't care less about his health. <laughs> be sarcastic. 
What are you doing here? Yeah. Is there something good in that safe? What are you doing here? Well, someone sold me a combination for this safe, but... <laughs> That'll happen one. when greed gets the best of you. What? No, greed is good. It makes the world go round. And this, well, chalk this up to an occupational hazard. Still, it's a shame. I paid good money for this combination. Maybe I can open it with some lockpicks. Thank you for becoming a member. And I'm a smoked out has super chat $20. Thank you so much, dude. And Jordan, dude, thanks for becoming a member. Sean, thanks for the donation, dude. It's so nice, um, all the support, guys. I really appreciate that. I was like, genuinely worried about not being able to finish this game because like some of the episodes are getting so few views. But so many of you have turned up to the live stream. So I like I, I honestly didn't expect this. So thank you so much, guys. It means the world to me that I'm really loving this game. So I really want to like see it through to the end, you know. Um, ask about the source of info. What's the story of the big safe? So, any idea what's inside? Something of great value, no doubt. Why else would they lock it? And the source? They? Who's they? Well, uh, very important people in highly important places. Oh, like who? I can't tell you. If I did, I'd have to kill you. Just kidding. <laughs> you should hope so. <laughs> Jesus. I should have brought a crowbar or a stick of dynamite. Yeah, dynamite would definitely do the trick. Wouldn't that blow up the intentions? Scare him off. A deadly virus should do the trick? Asking about his intentions. You got yourself in a tough spot here. What are you going to do? Well, I can't open it, but maybe someone else could. Maybe, but it looks pretty old. Might be that it's rusted shut on the inside or something. Could be. Oh, fuck this junk. It's over. I give up. You're giving up? <laughs> well, it's not like I can call a locksmith here, can I? I've wasted enough time on this. You can try your luck if you want. Completely stuck. Regular lockpicks won't do. I don't have any dynamite, but you can get some. I just can't craft any yet. Okay, well, we'll have to come back here and figure out that um, in the future. Where the hell is the way out? This place is like a maze. Yeah, that's a dead end. So this goes downstairs. That's where I just came from. Dude. So, where the bloody is. Did I go for a door? No, that's not a door. Even though it looks like it. Oh, one sec. Oh, it's through here. I just didn't see the corridor because it kind of like blends in. Is this going to be on console? It will be coming out to console, but like, um, I think... So it comes out for PC publicly for everyone on the 28th. You can play the early access version, but I actually recommend waiting for the full game. There are still a few bugs I've experienced. Um, I'm just going to do a quick scan and then we'll head back. There are still a few plants to grab, so I'm going to go and grab that. Jesus. How do I get... Ah, radiation stop. Um, but it is... They do have plans that they want to release it on the new consoles and stuff. Um, but they said they're not doing it yet. I actually missed that earlier. Worth the radiation to pick up the fuel. Gonna grab this and then we can go back to base camp and continue on with our lives. There's another clue over there, actually. I think it's a clue. I think it could just be ammo, actually. Yeah, revolver ammo. Some more plants. I'd love to go to Shinobu in real life, yeah. I'd love to do like one of those tours. Okay, let's um, equip this and now we can teleport home. Because we are done with everything. 
What kind of headphones are those? These are the DT990 Pros. They're really good if you like true sound. They're not like bassy headphones for gaming. They're for like editing and music and whatnot. My friend who's like a music developer, um, Ultimate Immersion, some of you may know him, recommended them. So now we can see how everyone else did on their missions. Oh, Oliver failed. He only had a 66 chance. He actually got 0 0.5 food though. Which is quite good, considering he failed. Um, so now, we've got to decide who gets what food. Um, and you can feed your companions less food and it affects them. So it affects their health and their, their psychology as well. Um, so you can see the negative effects here if we give them less food. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them both a normal ration just because it keeps them happy. And we have so much food. Um, and I'm also going to give myself a normal ration as well. Because we have plenty. Except. But obviously as our team gets bigger, food becomes more of an issue, I guess. So now it is the evening and we can go and build some stuff in our base if we like. Let me check how many lockpicks we got. We also need to store some stuff away actually because I've got so much stuff in my inventory. We also have some new skill points as well we can spend. So maybe we should spend some of those. Um, I think Wanna hang Oliver... Out for a bit? Yeah, good idea. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Actually, I... Ooh. Why don't you tell me about yourself? You're from Canada, right? Yeah. My grandfather moved there from Ukraine when that was still an option. I grew up in a military family with military traditions. You might say my upbringing was as straight as the barrel of a gun. It was as much a curse as it was a blessing. No family's perfect, I guess. Our fathers keep tormenting us long after they've passed. Isn't that so? You know what's worse than being raised by a control freak? Being raised by a control freak who's also a former army colonel and a goddamn millionaire. Sounds like you had a lot of expectations to meet. Oh yeah, but whatever I did, it was never good enough. Not even after I made it into JTF2, the top of the top. An elite unit of the Canadian army, but I wouldn't give up. I was relentless. I was eventually promoted to my own command, and then disaster struck. We were ambushed near Raqqa in Syria, and everyone was shot to pieces, except me. Every day, I think if only I could go back and change what happened. I'm sorry, Olivier. That must have been hard. It still is. I never went home afterwards. Everyone thinks I'm KIA. I'd rather be a dead hero back in Canada than a living failure. Well, that's quite a story. I know you'll find a way to deal with your past, Olivier. You're strong enough. <laughs> that's it? I would give someone a bit more than that, but alright. That's a horrendous path. Relationship is currently bad with him, but I'm going to ask him Do you think training. you could find some time? <laughs> I'm going to skip this dialogue because he says the same thing every time. Now we can get perfect stealth, which um, I am tempted to get. I think we might get it now or later. Or we can get increased some revolver other damage. The boss, I just want to check what our other companion can offer us. I think he's upstairs still. Where is he? I don't even see him. Mikel. He downstairs or upstairs? Oh, there he is. Just standing right next to the light. Hey, boss man! Got a minute? Sure. What is it? I need to ask you something, Igor. And you have to be absolutely fucking straight with me. Whoa, Mikhail. Should I be scared? No, <laughs> but I need you to really take me seriously. I sometimes get the feeling that you don't. What are your plans with NAR and Kozlov? I don't know yet. Why? Because I've got a feeling that you'd be willing to parlay with them, even come to some kind of agreement. And I want to make sure you understand that I won't fucking allow it. Is that <laughs> so? 
What would you have me do, Mikhail? Annihilate the motherfuckers! That's what I'd have you do! Hand Kozlov from the highest branch of the tallest tree in Pripyat! Look, I came here to find Tatyana. That's what matters to me. Right, right. That's what matters to you. And what about me? There's a lot of anger in you, Mikhail. I get it, but... But what? But your motherfucking pain is better than mine? You pose as a cool and level-headed guy, but sometimes you act like an egocentric prick. What do you want from me, Mikhail? Tatiana is your goal, not mine. I will have my closure, and I'll have my revenge. You have no problem using me for your mission whenever it suits you. There may come a time when I use you for mine. Please, just try and cool off. Don't do anything rash. No promises, Professor. No fucking promises. I love this guy. Keeping this guy around just because he's great. I assume he's going to ask us for some help. And I will 100% help him. Because his the last mission we did is crazy in a funny way. Yeah, 100%. Mikhail, you've been around. So we'll just skip the training dialogue. Okay, so I can get perfect gathering, free skill points, receive 30% more of every picked resource. That is hugely good. Um, you have a 10% of finding extra food when gathering plants and mushrooms. That's also decent. Capacity, 12 more inventory slots. I'm tempted by that as well. I think we're actually going for perfect gathering there. Perfect. Let's do it. So you're going to train us in that. Nice thing about this game is the training isn't just like something. They actually take you outside and do like a little training mission yeah, for Gathering supplies seems easy enough, right? Well, it's fucking not. You need to know shit. <laughs> For example, herbs with large leaves can often be found in the vicinity of their smaller brothers. Or even beneath them. So being extra observant means additional stuff. Ready to put Uncle Mikhail's knowledge to the test? Okay, let's make a healing ointment. You need to find two mushrooms and two healing herbs. And because my time is so precious, I'm giving you no more than 60 seconds to find them. Three, Easy. Two... Ah, fuck it, just yes. go already. Go <laughs> fetch me some motherfucking mushrooms and herbs, Professor. No. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's quickly scan here. I'm just gonna run around and grab everything I can. Medical herbs. There's tons of stuff here. More than enough. For what we need to do. Some big planty herbs. Igor, 40 seconds left. I'm going, I'm going. Chill. Some more over here. Thanks so much, Jordan. I, I've got a yet yeah, adult thing, but my stuff is renewed on YouTube. Oh, dude, thank you so much. And I'm glad you enjoyed the stream and could stop by for some of the weekend. Sorry, you had a busy weekend, though. I'm hustling, boy. Don't worry yourself. We should have, uh, like, a ridiculous amount of stuff here, so I'm sure it's plenty to complete the mission that he wants. Oh, we got a level up as well. Fantastic. We could spend those two perk points on something else. Ten seconds left. No dilly fucking dally in you here. I think that's pretty much everything we could collect, so we'll just let the timer run out now. Yeah, right. they... Let's see how you did. They hide British accents for everything, so it sounds not a bit bad, off. <laughs> not bad. Let's work on the healing ointment now. All right, that's all for now. Like sometimes it's like I literally nice feel like I'm your speaking. Your skills are improving. Just don't be a fucking disappointment. Okay, good talk. <laughs> the fuck you want? <laughs> I love him, man. He's so good. Um, I'm gonna save my skill points until I think we can get the inventory increase. Let's go and store some stuff away. Because I don't need to carry around like two shotguns or whatnot. And I've got tons of extra ammo. Because I do everything so stealthily. I almost don't need to take this much ammo with me. I think 20 revolver ammo is fine. 10 shotgun slugs is going to do us. Um, and then I have enough lockpicks right now. That's fine. Don't think I need the alcohol. As fun as it would be, you know. Don't think it's essential. 
Um, we can also build stuff. I haven't shown you guys the building yet. So, the next thing we actually would need to build, though, is um, over here. We've got to build ourselves the power tools. Chernobylite power tools, which just lets us progress a bit more. I'm going to build these over here so they're like back to back. This lets us uh, build high tech Chernobylite structures in the field. So we can essentially reduce radiation um, and those crazy monsters spawning. Does anyone know ESO's PC specs? I think Taser's in the chat. He can probably copy and paste them. So I don't actually have them in the description of this video. Um, so we're going to build that. And then we can build radiation safety stuff. Um, what does this do? Very comfortable for your skin. It's better to have it cleaned under pressure than finally lose it after heavy irradiation of the body. So that gives us minus one, plus 240 to radiation security. But it takes power. Alternatively, this gives 160. I think I might build this thing, because that just looks really cool, doesn't it? Maybe I'll build it just here. But I can't place it there. Damn it. Why do I want to build it then? Just here looks cool. Or actually, maybe it'll look cool in the garden area. At the end of this table. Dude, that looks sick. So now we have radiation security, which is definitely a worry. And we all our stats are pos positive, so all our companions will be happy. Um, we don't need any more sleeping arrangements. Uh, what else do I have? Um, I could build some more tool workshops. So I've already got an armor bench, but we could build the other type. Or we can build a matter negator. It creates an area of, of matter negation that produces advanced force fields. You can also lock it in small batteries. Produces force field generator, distributor field, and matter. I don't even know what that is yet. So to be honest, I don't think I need to build that. What I'll do then is I'll save our resources currently. Um, what's our health? Okay, yeah, I'll eat some... Some uh, radiation. Well, actually, that's what we could do. We could um, make a chemistry table. So we can actually... create our own uh, first aid kits and anti-rad medication. That's pretty important, especially as we go further on. Is there enough room to put this here? Just in this corner here. There we go. Getting a bit tight, but oh well. Right, so now we can craft ourselves anti-rads, which is really useful. Always good to have those on hand. We can also get make our own alcohol, um, which lightens our mood and heals our physique. So essentially you can get smashed and then it, um, killing people has less of an effect on you, which is obviously really helpful. You know, like in real life, I guess. <laughs> Bit worrying, I know. Well, do you know what? Actually, I think we could build ourselves another food supply source as well. So I'm making like a bit of a garden here whenever I can because it means we have a constant supply of um, food there. Which is always a good thing. So I mean, yeah, we have plenty to do that. So I'm actually going to build two of those. They give you 0 0.5 food each, but they take a lot of materials to build. But I think they're 100% worth it because you will just need them later on in the game. When things get busy and you can't go out and scavenge for food and stuff, that's when it comes in handy. I'll keep. Uh, so, yeah, I've got my shotgun. Some vodka. Very nice. Basically everything else I would need out in the field, really. I probably don't... Can we split this? Yeah, I'll split this stack. And we don't need to carry it all around. Split. How do I enter? How do I split this? 
Oh, it says, okay, I couldn't even see the accept. Right, now we can just put them in here. We don't need to carry around that many. Um, and then I think we're good to go to sleep and carry on with our next mission, friends. I hope you guys enjoy watching the management of uh, everything, because I know it can be a little bit dry for some people. Is this game out now? Not yet. F um, I'm playing the full build. You can get the early access build, um, but I got the full build early. You can see Tatiana. We have tons of footage of her doing stuff on the projector here. But what you can get is 30% off G Fuel with code ESO using the link in the description, which I highly recommend. All right, the next day, see what our team want from us. Roger that, Rhino One. Proceed as ordered. The area is clear. Do you copy? No. Yeah. Charlie Bluebird. We'll get to the target ASAP. Over and out. Posing as the enemy, you're playing a dangerous game, Olivier. I know what I'm doing. I've learned their code names and routines. Knowing your enemy is essential. Smart. Very smart. Scold him. Approve. 100%. Pretty damn smart, Clever. dude. We need to get the upper hand over NAR whenever we can. Agreed. I wasn't trained in cracking codes, but I know how to crack people. And this radio works perfectly with NAR encryption. I discovered something that may be of interest to you, Igor. NAR is sending a team out to locate some old KGB documents could be related to what you're looking for. Sounds like a long shot, but it must be important if they're sending a squad, right? My thoughts exactly. Also, it looks like there's an old Soviet installation beneath the Emerald Resort. I know the place. Young pioneers used to have their summer camps there and play games. Yeah, <laughs> play games. And the KGB was playing a different sort of game just beneath them, underground. I'll check it out. Anything that might get me info on Tachana is worth a try. Just, uh... Keep your feet on the ground, okay? Good luck, Igor. Hmm. Let's see where that takes us, then. Let's just check. I've got everything I need to go out. Alright, so... The old documents are in Kapachi, so we're going back. Oliver discovered that the NA NAR has sent special unit to search for old KGB documents. Any kind of data that is of interest to the NAR will certainly be of interest to me. Maybe we'll even uncover something about Tatiana's disappearance. I think they're actually talking about the place we kind of discovered earlier. But um, we'll definitely go back there and check it out again. Where are we going to send Oliver, though? I think... Do we need more medicine? I always uh, prioritize food. But, um... I think we'll go and send him over here, to be honest. 93% chance. And then, Mikhail, we will go and send you to Moscow Eye, my friend. And then with that, we will continue. Yes. I remember the young pioneer camp. Who would have thought that there were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around? Olivier tries hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary after all. Can you afford his brand of loyalty? Can we? They're planning on making it, it for the newer consoles. Yeah, it is planned, uh, but on PC it'll be out on the 28th of July. You can get it at the discounted price right now from the link below, by the way. If you're interested. I believe the price could be going up actually after launch. But uh, I don't know. Right now for like $30 this game is like. Actually one of the best games I've played in the current sort of situation we've been having. With quite a stale gaming industry I would say. Not a lot going on. So the old documents are just here. We found the other documents here. So interesting that the others are located just there. And then we've got another mysterious thing going on over there. Um, so we'll check all of these things out. Let's have a quick scan for ingredients. That the priority every time you come somewhere is to just scavenge around for all the ingredients you can.
can hear some weird noises, mate. There's like 20... Okay, I'm not going to walk in there. There's like 20 rads. I don't want the mushrooms that badly. Mate, this, the sound effects in this game kind of creep me out a bit, though. Electrical parts. Oh, whoa, where is that radiation coming from? Dude, I'm getting like tons of rads. Okay, now it's going back down. Just sudden rad hotspot that I had to sprint through. Yeah, there's some more ingredients. Because we've just looted this place, there's not going to be as many ingredients to. Uh... But the green clouds are moving around, so a little bit worrying. What's this? A nice Soviet chair. Not far away now. There's a giant green cloud in front of us, so... Hopefully that's not an issue. It's not here. Why isn't it here? Oh, fuck. Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? The captain said we have to find them. It's really important. It, it's for the research division. Hey, 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 check it out. Some kind of transfer order. It's got a KGB stamp on it. Should be in a museum. All documents, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to secure storage in Bunker 007. Hmm. It's dated April of 86. Looks like they moved all the important records after the Chernobyl disaster. We can find the bunker later. Just keep searching. See what else we can dig up. Okay, that guy's coming towards us. I've got silence on this gun, but I don't know where the other guy is. It's a very bad idea to engage. We do not know where the other guy is. Quickly save the game here. Is this PC only? Currently, yes. But it is going to be coming to console. Alright, I can't move out of this bush because it'll see me. We are in a bush right now, by the way. Tempted. Is he not? He's not going to turn around, is he? They have like a little vision cone. So... If you can... Oh, you see, you see... Oh, shit. Shit. Damn it. God damn it. That's not good. Jesus Christ. I can't even see it. Okay, I think I got one of them. Shit, cannot see this other guy though. Shit, he can see me though. Oh, I just headshot him! Okay, that went a lot better than I expected. Though, my psyche, my psyche, my mental health has gone down because we just point blank shot some guys. Dude. Okay, this is the note. My god. To Major Kunestov. This is in 1986, mate. I was born in 1983. We are... 1993, sorry. <laughs> God. As we previously agreed, all the critical documents, mem um, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to the secure area in Bunker 07 at the Emerald Camp. Burn the rest of the archives immediately. I mean, to be honest... They literally read us the note, so we could have figured out to just go straight there, really. Um, but we had to click on the note and engage on those guys. This whole area is in green fog. So I might need to put on a gas mask here. To go in here.
I've never been in this fog, so I don't... I don't know what to expect. Okay, we've read that. I want to get the... One sec, am I getting rads? Okay, I'm getting a few rads here. Dude, that guy's dead. What killed him, though? I don't want to stick around and find out. Right, I'm getting out of here. Let's unequip this. Oh, Jesus. Why did I just take damage? Oh, was they still in the gas? Mate, that absolutely hurt me. Let's use some healing salve quickly. So we're not dying. Alright, now we've got to work our way over to this bunker, which uh, we actually visited last time. Last time we were in this particular zone. It's literally just down, straight down the road, really. Oh, God, down there's some more soldiers. Okay, we might want to try and stealthily take these guys out, to be honest. Let's go ahead and save again. I was trying to say, damn, you look good for 83. <laughs> Lol. You're doing well, boy. <laughs> The other guys over there. Jesus. The other guys there, man. I have to take a leak soon. I think this is a good shot. This is a good shot. As long as he doesn't immediately turn around, we could take him out here pretty stealthily. Oh no, his friend was looking at us. Don't know if he was looking directly at me or what. Smoke the motherfucker out! How did he see me? Shit, there's two of them. Where is he? There he is. Can I go under here now? He's behind cover! Flank him! The other guy's actually flanking him, are you joking? He's over there! Over there! Uh. 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 Nice! Come on now. He's holed up over there! Where the fuck is he? Find him! Find him! Enemy spotted! Uh. Jesus Christ, there's like two of them here? Uh, oh my god, damn it. It's just one guy! Another one down. Lol, <laughs> can't even see me. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly scan. There's a lot of bodies. Literally just killed everyone in this zone. Which we do get experience for. But that was not the stealthy tactic I had planned. The stealth episode was yesterday, friends. <laughs> Good to see you live. Thanks for joining, man. Oh, look, there's some Chernobylite here from the other day still. Okay, great. Well, this has been quite the eventful attempt to get to the location. Yesterday, there were some people holed up in there. How much ammo? I got 14 ammo. I got loads of shotgun ammo, so actually we should be okay there. Go ahead and save the game. I do have armor as well, guys, so that's why they're not hitting my health, I think. crafted some armor at the end of yesterday's episode. The 
You know, I'm absolutely amazed how many of you are watching right now. Uh, thank you so much for joining. The last episode I did of this, it, for some reason, YouTube just didn't promote it. I only got like 6,000 views, which is like really low. So I was a little bit concerned because I was like, dude, this game's so good. I don't want to stop playing it. But I'm really enjoying it. But obviously, like, you know, I can't just make like, you know, do a whole day of work and only get like a few dollars for it. So you get about one dollar per thousand views, depending on the CPM. There's nothing inside there, which is why we can't get in. So we need to go over here, apparently, to the secret bases. It's down here, but I don't like the music that's playing right now. Definitely going down here with a the shotgun. Yeah, no thanks. I think I'll leave. That doesn't pick up enemies, by the way. The door closes behind you, by the way. I don't know why that's like a feature, but it just happens anyway, and it makes it ten times more spooky. I don't like this, guys. I don't really want to go further in. What's that? It's something red. Wait, is this where we came? It looks similar, but the gun rack is underwater now. Okay. What is that? I can hack this. I've never seen hack. You've come a long way to die, NAR rat. Or whoever you are. How did it go? Kill them all? The great rat catcher in the sky will know his own. A happy Unabomber never considered someone might disarm his traps. No fireworks for you, nut job. That was the same guy who spoke to us previously. We're lucky we disarmed that. So this is the clue in relation to the meeting with Agent Splinter. Um, who was the person we believe was tracking Tatiana, but we don't know why. Tatiana, our wife, if you guys are just joining. Uh, Con Comrade Major Strapanov. I attended the meeting with the Special Surveillance Officer, Splinter, and one of our assets from the power plant, BG, as planned. Wonder what initials BG is. We met at our regular rendezvous point, with the purpose of this meeting was to further include BG in our operations and keep him delivering information on Dorothy. I think Dorothy could be a code name for Tatiana, but I could be wrong. We briefed BG on how to proceed with his encounters relating to Dorothy and don't know what that writing says and how to proceed with his encounter um, to gather more information about her as possible involvement with imperialist spy operations as the power plant and the Duga project. BG's input has been great value to our work so far. After BG left, we discussed our urgent strategy in the event of serious threat to the Duga project. It was decided that we should we should under end we should any circumstances threaten the project, a CIA act of sabotage that Dorothy might be a part of was mentioned although Agent Splinter was sceptical about this possibility. As we remove all archives and transfer them to an undisclosed location in the event that this agent, this action isn't possible, I recommend destroying any files that are unable to be moved due to the time constraints. The security of the project is paramount concern. If leaked, the damage would be catastrophic. Also, the safety concerns. We will no longer be using the dish as our meeting point. Agent L. Vo Vorinova? Vorinu? I don't know how you say these Russian names. As a dyslexic, it's quite difficult to read. Maybe I should rearm the traps. What? Why? Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to. To what? 
Earth. Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks into one of the traps? Rearm the traps or leave it? What do you guys think? Our Oliver, our relationship with Oliver is already bad. So, what do you guys think we should do? Rearm the traps or no? <laughs> the names are hard for most of us, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> you make me feel so much better. Oh. Asking if you could do... Oh, I keep forgetting I have a flashlight, dude. But you're 100% worth it. I do have a flashlight. Um, it has battery, but uh, I completely forgot to use it. I think Oliver would dislike it. So yeah, I reckon leave. You're right, it's too risky. I can't chance killing some summer shell who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. Quest completed. Old documents. Rat trap. Oliver will like this, it says. You've reached a new level. Three skill points available. Yeah, so um, V is flashlight, and it's so much more aversive with the flashlight on, isn't it? I'm so sorry, I completely forgot about it, though. See, that door closed. Terrifying, right? Get me out of here. Right, so I want to go over here and see what this question mark location is next. So let's quickly save the game right here. I think it already saved anyway, but just in case, eh? Um, we want to head over there next. Just up this hill here. Oh, God, God. There's someone here. I legit cannot, cannot see anyone. He was over there. Good choices, I would have made the other choice as well. You can do your own playthrough. But in, in this game, like if you don't look after your followers, like you can legit just completely like cut a quest line if if certain characters don't agree with you. There's actually a patrol car just. Oh, how close was he? I can actually take him out right now. His friends not looking. They usually travel travel in teams of two. I think we're just behind the car, so no one should see this. But we just need to take out his friend before he gets back here. It's coming right now. We gotta time it well, because if he sees that body, he's gonna uh, get triggered. That job in my father -in factory. Shit. Probably gonna see it right now. Oh sh <gasps> I think I'm just about hitting the other body in the bush so he can see. I might have to shoot the other guy in the head though. Come on, come on, come on. Oh dude, I don't know, I think he's gonna turn around. Can I make it? Oh my god! <laughs> that was so gamey! <laughs> There's no way! He 100% just spotted me. It was like, press click to take down, but he was like, already turning to spot me. <laughs> oh, mate. I didn't even know there was free. So, so usually, what I found in the, is that there's patrols of two. But if there's a helicopter flying over the area, there's at least patrols of three. So we could we should now assume that if we see anyone, there's a patrol of three people around there. Um, it would be stupid not to assume that. Games just also save. So this is where we saw the crazy creature last time, but it doesn't look like there's any Chernobylite in the area, so we should be fine. Oh no, there is. Okay. I'm getting the shotgun out in that case. Oh, 
That door closing behind me creeps me out every time. What's taking you so long? What's this? Oh four? That must mean something, right? I don't know what it is though. I've not been in this room before though. You can only access it from going underground. I think we need to leave and go in the front entrance to actually get in the building though. Oh dude, it's so disorientating this place. Is that? Nope, that's not a door. That's where we came in earlier. Where the hell is the way out? It was on this side of the building, I think. I literally need to orientate myself to find the door. Okay, there we go. Now let's explore inside. There's some Chernobylite just there. Can't get to it through that. The wall is blocked. Jesus. Okay, that's our dead wife. That was blocked a second ago, right? I can go through there. Find me, love. I'm alright, actually. I think I think I'll leave. I don't know. I think I'm alright, actually. Why did you abandon me? Is that meant to be her? No thanks. I don't know what the purpose of that is right now. I don't know what I can do with that material. Maybe I can use it as a resource to make something, but... Get me out of here. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Alright, let's go ahead and equip this, and then we'll go back to base camp. This is the weird statue again. Alright, let's go. Turn down the music. Sorry. It's, it's one of those games that, like, just yeets you with music every now and again. I want to hear your opinion, guys. Of course. But, ultimately... Oh, there's some decisions I'd like to make to, like, not kill certain characters that I'd like to, like witness the whole story for the game you know not just kill someone and be like oh now we missed that section of the game um okay so everyone was successful this is good of course he brought back some vodka very nice let's give everyone normal food rations um there we go accept yes 
We've got a simp in our racks. <laughs> Alright, um, I need to harvest our our food. I forgot to do that yesterday. We can't harvest this. That just gives us daily food intake. But uh, we can harvest the other stuff. We also need to put this in our in our gun cabinet. Add it to our selection of revolvers that I'm collecting. Uh, do you know, let's put this... I get so much assault rifle ammo, but I've not actually come across an assault rifle yet, so... Probably need to make some... Actually, no, I've got plenty of shotgun ammo. I think that's just enough ammo. I don't need any more. Like, you'd have to literally be a really bad shot to need more ammo than that. I think, at least. Um, I also put some rad pills in there because I don't need to take them all with me. Okay, great. Okay, I think let's have a chat with our What's friend going on, Igor? Doesn't have anything new to tell us. So let's just go to bed. A new day is awaiting us. Or actually, do we need to... Nah, I think we're good. I'm just hopped in and loving this game. Yeah, dude, really enjoying it as well. Thank you so much for becoming a member, Fatato. And Shane, thank you, dude. Appreciate that, man. Welcome to the ESO squad. You see, all my clues are here, so you can see I'm slowly like piecing together the puzzle. And we're missing a few other bits. But we're quite close to getting a picture of exactly what's going on here. Rhino 3, this is Bluebird. Do you read? Over. This is Rhino 3, reading you loud and clear, Bluebird. Over. Rhino 3, change of plans. Jack Frost is heading for the Capache Kindergarten. ETA 3 hours. Provide support for a helo. Over. We'll call Bluebird. We're moving out. ETA 2 hours. Over and out. Jack Frost? That's an old nickname me and Boris gave Professor Semenov when we were still students. Could it be? He brought me here to Pripyat years ago. Helped me get Tatiana a position too. And now he works for NAR? He must have his reasons. And he's always been a brilliant scientist. He's still my best shot at finding Tatiana. I need to see him. What are the chances? Your old mentor, huh? Try and find him if you think it's important. Just be extra careful. I'm always careful, Olivier. You'll most likely have an escort. Try to sneak past. Don't go Rambo on them. I don't know. Going Rambo is what we've been doing so far. It goes quite well. Do we need some more lockpicks? No, I've got, I've got plenty. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned about how that's going to go down, to be honest. Maybe I should should bring some extra ammo with me. No, i got 20, 10 shotgun shots. We should be okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Right, so, let's have a look on the map. So we've got to go back to Capache again um, to find our old friend. It's very possible. Gregory, his name is. Jack Frost Gregory. We've got some extra enemies roaming around. So this is a very hot spot, really. Um, supply drop, food drop. Oh, there's lots of food drops here. I'm going to send Oliver after the supply drop and I'll send Mikel after the food stash. Extra food, always good. Can't complain about that. If you go Rambo, you might not be able to get your old friend for a companion. Oh, good point, my friend. <laughs> no spoiler. <laughs> but yes. What's his name? His name is... Uh... Gregory Semenov. Yeah. I don't know. He's NAR. Maybe he's being held against his will. We'll, we'll find out. Let's start. Let's Gorgi Semenov. 
a good old Jack Frost. You must wonder what happened to him all those years ago. Why would he work with the NAR, my love? Surely he must have a good explanation. He was always kind to us. Do you think so? I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't trust him. He's a Russian spy now. Or a Ukrainian spy. No spoils, guys. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not reading the uh the spoilers. If anything looks sus, I won't read it. But um that was more of a hint, a big hint, but I saw right through it. So we're going right over here first, and then we will go over here to find our old friend. He seems to be holed up in what appears to be a schoolhouse. The radiation pockets do change though, because currently there's no rads. Oh god, now there's tons of rads. Run away. Run through the pockets of radiation. It's afternoon and daylight, so our visibility is pretty good, which means people will see us. Whoa, why am I getting 40 rads? Jeez. Nice. Oh my god, my, I'm getting so much radiation suddenly. Just lost a quarter of my health. Oh, hello. Okay, we're right here. Actually an enemy. Right here. I don't know if there's anyone nearby. I'm just going to absolutely yell and kill him. There's someone right next to him. Oof. I don't think they can... Oh, God. I, I may actually need to do something. This is not good. Oh, my God. I don't think I brought enough bullets for this. He dead? I don't think my gun even goes that far, dude. go headshot if you play around the cover the ai doesn't seem to be able to deal with it very well He's behind cover. Flank him. Oh, jesus ow 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 headshot is one hit kill though well especially with this fully upgraded gun okay well that's that's not going well for us so far But at least we've eliminated any threat in this area, which we didn't actually need to kill anyone in. <laughs> Oof. We actually need to go over here to find out what this mysterious mystery is, though. How many metal plates? Yeah, I've got five metal plates. That's good. So apparently there's a question mark right ahead of me. down here. Oh no, it's behind me. One sec. It's up here then. Oh, again, okay, must be underground. Right, we've got to go inside this little encampment now. Oh no, I can't get it. It's inside somewhere. I think it's down here somewhere. Maybe. We will find out. Is this it? says I am literally standing on it, but I can't see anything happening. Hmm. Welp. Stay in the shadows. What? 
Why, why just tell me that? <laughs> like, now I'm creeped out. What does that mean? Is something in here? Become invisible. What are you talking about? That's not what I want to hear. None of you are safe. <gasps> what the hell? I want to turn around and go back. Mate, why is it not glowing anymore? Dude, I came here last time and it was fine. Why is it all sus now? I think there is something in here. I just... I don't know. Whenever I go further inside, she's speaking to me. Which I'm a little bit concerned about. Keeps telling me it's not safe. Nothing in here, right? Wait, why is that? That was open last time, wasn't it? No. Game's saving now. Well, I don't... What was that meant to be? There is an old helicopter here. No loot on it, though. Well, I can't see anything. I don't know. All right, let's just go to our objective, then. I'm a little bit spooked, though, after whatever that was. A little bit spooky, indeed. You passed the documents? No, I already had the documents. I picked them up last time we were here. And read them. About the KGB operations and the radiation poisoning they were giving to people. I don't know if I had to activate the documents again in order to proceed the, uh, the mini events. I'd already picked them up and read them, so... Where is... Right, let's save the game quickly. I feel like this isn't the place you want to spook. Spook some people, right? Guess I'm in the wrong line of work, huh? Not at all, Sasha. I think you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Dude, there's like five guys. I think I've literally just come in the back, but there's like a whole load of people outside there. So where's this guy? That meant to be our old friend, eh? Should be in here somewhere. Just gotta sneak past somehow. Okay, he's walking away. Good, good, good. Let's go. Is this our man? You. I'm surprised to see you here. You are. Calm down. Be vigilant. It's Igor. You remember me, Professor Semenov, don't you? It's been a long time. I thought you would have retired by now. But I guess there's no rest for a man of science like you and me. Igor. It's so good to see you. But what are you doing here? It's not safe. What are you doing here, Professor? Are you... Are you really working for NAR? Do you know what they're doing in the zone? How they treat the summer shells? Please, Igor, slow down. My concern is science, as it always has been. The politics and administrative piffle I leave to others. Then what are you doing here exactly? Seems pretty sus. You don't need to worry about me. I haven't turned into Dr. Mengele. I study the local uh, fauna. They're very peculiar, very dangerous. 
You must have run into them at some point. There are reports dating back from before the Chernobyl catastrophe. It's very important that we gather every bit of available information. Don't buy it. Let the man catch his breath. Otherwise, he may become suspicious. He was probably forced to work for NAR. That's my guess. Doubt or confirm? Super sus. Oliver says that he was forced. Uh, which I don't doubt. Why would there be any documents in a kindergarten? Guess there's no harm in admitting that. I mean, I agree with Oliver, which is what this question is. I agree that he's probably been forced to work with them. You know? I think, yeah. The shadows, yes. They seem to have some connection to Chernobylite. So you know about Chernobylite? Did you get a chance Ooh. to study it? Perhaps we could compare notes. And what about yourself, Igor? Why are you here? This is a restricted area, as you must know. I haven't seen Tatiana in 30 years. I... I seem to have some blank spots in my memory. I can't remember what happened the night of the disaster. I need to find her. I need to find out what happened to us. Reactor number four. That was a real disaster. Some of our colleagues paid the ultimate price for this misguided experiment. That's what happens when politicians are placed in charge of scientists. And Tatiana, such a sweet girl, and your friend Boris. You three were inseparable. I called you my three musketeers, remember? <laughs> Look, my security detail will be back soon to collect me. I don't want them to hurt you or start asking questions. How can I get in touch? I will find you. Now, go. I will find you, brother. How the hell do I get out of here now? Through the back window? Imagine if I had a grenade. I could just literally just yeet all of them with a grenade right now. It wouldn't do my psychology any good, but it'd be pretty awesome. One sec. Why is my objective an old friend over there? So this is my objectives over there, though. I don't know. What's up? I need to find him, it says. Let's have a quick check. There might have been something we missed uh, next to him. Oh! Oh, there's actually a note down here. I think I grabbed that. Before. What is... What is that? Oh, boy. How do I get out here? There's a note. There's a note just here. Subject test number 56 of Chernobylite nano solution specimen fully grown up male 188 centimeters 97 kilograms so this is the KJB KGB um, experimenting again on these people past surgery pain ex extreme agitation respiratory depression so he gave him an injection Oh god. Original acceptance. Quest completed. I can't read the green handwriting. I'm thinking do we just get out of here or do we try and kill this creepy thing? I reckon I can get a sneak attack on it for the first time ever. I want to see how much damage it does with the pistol. Where's he gone? Teleporting around. I don't like it. Oh, it doesn't do a lot. It doesn't do a lot. Jesus Christ. Jesus. 
Give me your mushrooms. That was silence, so we should be undetectable still. Didn't enjoy that, though. Right, we've done our quest. Let, let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here, man. It's too hot. Get out. Run. <laughs> get wrecked. The shotgun is the way. Those things take a lot of shots. Like, the, the human soldiers, like, one hit to the head, it's dead. That thing got shot in the head. And it, it was just, like, vaguely pissed off with me. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, an old friend completed. Ah, oh, Oliver got four food. That's really good. Oh, and we got free food from Mikkel. Okay, great, great. We're so good for food. Everyone gets normal food. Except. I need some anti-rads. You have a second, Igor? Yes, I sure. do. What can I do for you? I was just thinking about my friends. Zina, Yuri, Ludmila, and Igor, your namesake. They were the best fucking guys and gals I've ever known. When I first arrived, I was lost. Just stumbling around in the dark like an idiot. They took me in and we became inseparable. The greatest team of stalkers the world has ever seen. Will ever see. They called us the Pripyat Five. It was a stupid-ass joke, of course, but I still liked it. Zeno was the smart one. Whatever the problem, she always had a solution in her back pocket. She could get us out of every kind of goddamn mess. Yuri was the strongest guy ever. He was our shield. It was like he was carved from wood. <laughs> Igor was the leader. But really, he was like the older brother I never had. And then there was Ludmila. The party girl. We did so many drugs together. I had a bit of a crush on her, and I think it was mutual. Nice. Shit. I'm really sorry, Mikhail. Everything reminds me of them. This place. We built it together. Carried all this shit on our backs like fucking ants. I never worked so hard in my life. It was supposed to be our post apocalyptic hive. The Pripyat fucking five in the hive. My homies. My home. I'm really sorry, Mikhail. I hope you can at least find some closure here. I'm so British. <laughs> I'm really sorry for your loss, Mikhail. Just showing no emotion whatsoever. Stiff upper lip. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Remove, <laughs> remove from team. Just like, now he has nothing. <laughs> no, um... I wanted to ask him about training. I'm actually thinking about Mikhail, this. Mikhail, you've been around. You could teach me something about survival. Just skip that. Um, I'm going to ask him about capacity increases because 12 more capacity really useful. I finished the perfect gathering. Yeah, we're going to go four points to get the extra bag perfect. space. Let's do it. I'm going to spend everything on that. I think we need that just for all the the looting. Oh, hello. Buttercup. There are many different skills you need to master to survive in the zone. Sneaking, spying, wheeling and dealing, stealing, eavesdropping, door guiding. Door guiding? Have you got a problem with that? Guiding <laughs> clueless westerners in search of cheap thrills is an honest and, more importantly, lucrative business. But stop interrupting. Where was I? So true. Surviving in the zone? Ah, yes. Among the many skills a man needs in the field, one is particularly important for a noob like yourself. Would you like to guess what it is? Wouldn't dream of it. In that case, I'll tell you. It's the art of packing shit better so you can carry more shit around. You don't look impressed. I know it doesn't sound as exciting as jumping from helicopters or fighting ten opponents using nothing but your flying feet of fury. That crap is the special purview of our favorite soldier boy, Olivier. But imagine you have to smuggle three crates of your best rot gut to an NAR checkpoint, and you only have space for one in your inventory. And why? Because you didn't pay attention when I was giving you some invaluable fucking lessons about packing. 
<laughs> it's now, less than about packing. somebody's wedding, their very special and important day, because there's not enough booze, and it's all your fucking fault! <laughs> I... I'm sorry? <laughs> but it's not too late to avert this catastrophe. Don't worry, the Premium 5 have got your back. I mean, I've got your back. Just watch me arrange chemicals, scrap metal, ammunition, and mask filters like a 3D puzzle. If you run into any problems, I will be your tour guide. I mean, guide. Great! Looks like you're ready to save that wedding now. That was so awesome. Do I actually have to do anything here? I know that was it. That was well awesome. Good to see that big fat brain of yours doesn't get in the way of some real action. <laughs> that was fantastic. Now we have 12 more slots to, to put everything in. That's great. Dude, that was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, he's like the best character. I hope other characters are as good as him. Do you uh, have a minute? Yes, I do. For you, Palmer? Always. Of course. I, I bet. can't stop thinking about what happened to Anton. I know. I'm really sorry, Olivier. He was one of the good guys, you know. And my friend. I can't help but wonder... If we could have done something differently to save him? You know what I'm talking about, right? Only too well, Olivier. Only too well. Bless him. Bless his cotton socks, eh? Alright, let's quickly uh, go and store some stuff that we don't need. Um, like, I don't need this 20 rifle ammo. I have so much rifle ammo, it's mad. I don't even have a rifle yet, for goodness sake. Um, we have 9 revolver ammo. I'm actually going to take some revolver ammo out because we'll probably use it, actually. But good to know that um, the revolver ammo literally has no effect on the zombies. So um, we should actually build some more stuff. Um, I could build something that allows me to produce tactical armor, heavy armor, and ceramic plate. I'm tempted to do that at some point. Electrical lathe uh, lets me build a shotgun. Don't really need that. Produce all kinds of upgrades for a shotgun. I've already got a fully upgraded one myself. Produces rifle upgrades. I don't even have a rifle yet. Oh, produces molecular plasma thrower. Railgun and liquid filled bullets. That's cool. Definitely build that. Igor's weaponsmith. All kinds of upgrades to railgun. I might build this then. Go ahead and build it just here. And we can have a go with it. So, molecular plasma thrower. A cutting edge weapon that creates and throws a stable plasma projectile that will disintegrate and break molecules of living organisms upon impact. It takes batteries. We can also build a rail gun. A kinetic cannon that uses the power of Chernobylite to instantly energize the coils and use them in an enormous electromagnetic field that gives the projectiles great strength and speed. The, the plasma thrower does 10 damage but has no range. What should we, what should we build? I think plasma thrower. Let's try it out. It sounds like it will kill these creatures. Oh, that looks sick. Okay, we need to build some ammo for it as well. I build a couple of ammo bits. Um, where is it? So I have ammo for this now as well. I've literally already filled up my slots that I was going to use. Uh, we'll put that on number four. Dude. It looks like a shotgun. I'll test it out at some point, I'm sure, but it doesn't look very stealthy. Uh, okay. Is there anything else I need to build? I have enough lockpicks and stuff. I think we're good. Let's go and rest. Rest our aching bones.
A rail gun, yeah. Oh, that's a new weapon. So that wasn't in the original. Have you tried out the plasma plasma gun? It costs quite a lot of resources, so I will make that in the future. But uh... so there is another game out coming out called Pioneer, which is a different game. Um, that is with your friends, um, and it has PvP in as well. But um, it's not this game. Woo, Charles, thank you so much for the $50 donation. Dude, love all your amazing content. Just thought I should send you a little something to show my appreciation. Oh, my God, do that. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for the donation, mate. That is huge. Thank you. Literally buy this game twice over again. Um, okay, so let's go and proceed. I don't think I need to make anything else. I think we're good. Answer the radio, mousey, mousey, mouse. You know that I know you're there. You cannot hide from me, little mouse. The Red King is almost upon us. And despite your history with your Garada, you decided to help him. I am disappointed. Poke him about the mousy nickname. Ignore this his crazy and play along. His quirks seem harmless and he might get yet proved to be useful. He does know something about the Duga. But we, um, previously I chose to upgrade my, um, scanning device instead of blow up the Duga radar. So, ignores his, ignore his crazy. Let's play along. Right, whatever. Oh, great and powerful rat catcher. <laughs> Let us meet in person, Mousy. For real this time. Pripyat Port, look for a red sign painted on a wall. This symbol will protect us from the Rat King. Pressure him for information here and now. Now, I want to meet this guy. He seems great. I hope you're not wasting my time. Red sign, Pripyat Port. Goodbye. Ooh, new location we've not been to yet. This should be interesting. Okay, so someone said my base is in the negative. Radiation security is now not very good. So we actually do need to build ourselves some anti-radiation. I don't have enough mushrooms. Can I pick mushrooms? What's that? What's that? No. I'm... What's that? Do I have mushrooms in storage? Do I have enough mushrooms now? Oh. Uh, it's in here, I think. Yes. Okay, we can build another one of these. These things are pretty sick, so I like building them. We have no mushrooms now, but that's fine. I love the sound it makes when you get near it as well. Usually it means death, but um, in this case we're okay. So we're going to the port, which I think is near the lake over there. Here we go, meeting with Tarakan. After a strange test involving the Duga radar, Tarakan finally decided to meet me in person. I still don't know what he wants or what he might know, but we don't have any other leads. I need to try and take this chance. So we'll be going on this mission. It looks pretty hot though, and I've not been there before, so that's going to be good fun. Um, we will send out Oliver on another food drop. Why not? Um... We'll just do a few food drops because, I mean, we can never have enough food and it doesn't go out of date. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. Yes, I would like to begin. Tarakan is a curious figure, wouldn't you agree? Very Shakespearean with all his mice and rats. Fascinating people can also be very dangerous, my love. Watch your step and don't fall into a trap, mousy. Mousy. I do like her commentary, it's quite good. Here we go. Day seven, Pripyat Prip Prip Port. We've not been here before, so this is all new to us. Our main objective is over here. I want to check out this area near the port, though. Place looks very misty and foreboding. Looks like it's flooded here recently, actually. 
There's a few secret areas there. I really need to build some dynamite. That should be on our list of things to do. Wow. This game just looks beautiful, man. Proper welcome sign. Oh! Suddenly tons of radiation. Jesus Christ. Okay. There's a big rad pocket there, so I don't think we should go that way. Let's try going around then. Can I even get around here? Okay, I might just have to go. Hmm. Gotta go around this way then. Do you know what? I'm tempted just to run past the radiation pocket. Can't be bothered to go all the way around. Ah! That's a little radiation. There we go. Now we're around it. Oh, hello. There's two guys here. If I jump in this bush, I should be able to take out one while the other guy's facing the other way. Just need to get myself inside this bush. Um, nice and camouflaged. Sit in this one, I reckon. I can use another cup of coffee. Preferably with brandy. If only we had brandy. Glad ESO is streaming. Good to see all those who enjoy his content hanging out together. It is very nice, actually. It makes you feel very, very happy. Thank you. Okay, so we can take this guy out because his friend is looking the other way. I don't believe he'll get triggered. There you go. Yeah, he can't see us. That's good. These guys are kid, by the way. He's literally just standing there looking the other direction anyway, so... I can approach him pretty easily. Can't see anyone else looking at him. Look how kid this guy is! He's got a shotgun! If that guy had turned around and spotted me, that would have been... Wait, I can't stealth take him? When I finish my contract, I'm going to grow a beard. Chicks I don't think a headshot's going to kill him. Okay, okay, what's that? I'm going to save the game. <laughs> we'll try We'll try this out, okay? Okay, I've got... Here we go. I don't, I don't know what this does. Okay, I think he's dead. Whoa, okay, there's a guy over there. I think I I think that was so loud. It literally triggered someone from all the way over there. You can hear footsteps. Jesus, he's triggered AF, man. I don't know if I can hear two sets of footsteps or just the one. He's very aggro. I feel like he will spot me immediately. There's another guy there. It was two sets of footsteps. That thing absolutely nuked. God damn it, that was awesome. That was awesome, man. <laughs> Absolutely loved that. Yeah, the reason you can't pick up their weapons is apparently they use the... Uh, what's the word when it's like biometrically um, scanned to your body? Like um, finger sensitive trigger sort of thing. Dude, this place is hot though. You gotta go all the way over there to get um shit there's another guy over there like this place is really busy it's 
something in here. I've got a lockpick, so I just open it. Anti rad medicine. AK 47? Yes, it's my favorite gun. Well, I always use this on uh, Call of Duty. So I do enjoy a good AK 47, a nice Soviet rifle. Eh? Develops in the wake of World War II. Upgrade suppressor. Close red dot sight. Military trigger. Mate. Sign me up. I'm happy now. Let's have a quick check. Can we go upstairs in this building? Yeah, there is an upstairs just there. Let's have a quick check. There's a guy outside still. I reckon I could kill him. I can see him just out there. I really want to shoot someone with my AK-47. That's the only reason. Right, right. One sec. Quit. Dude, this is going to be like a nutty gun, isn't it? I mean, I've got to go that way, I think. I've got to go past him. Oh, actually, we're really close to the objective. Should we just go to the objective while we're here? It makes sense. I'm just going to save the game quickly because we've taken out so many people. Hello, Battle Brother! Dude, that plasma fur is nuts. Like, I'm surprised it didn't kill me at that range. There's going to be a lot of guys around here, though. It is raining, so that means low visibility in terms of them discovering me. That's a good sign. There's like three guys here, man. I get in the bushes. I am just going to sneak around these guys. This is a very hot spot. Pla it is a plasma thrower. I think, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, you're right. It essentially throws plasma. How do I get inside here? Is there like a... There's legit, there was like loads of people outside, man. I think I just lucked out there and being able to get through. What? There's another AK-47. This is like just the place for AK-47s. That one's not fully upgraded like the other one, but still. Apparently, our friend is around here somewhere. He's left me a letter. Mousy, I couldn't meet you this hide in this hideout. I... Take the NCR put. Write tapes in here. Meet me in one of the apartments. Instead, follow my marks. Tarkab. Okay. Our follower friend is over here, but apparently he's in this apartment. He's left us a nice bathtub filled with roots. I can't see anything. I think we're kind of safe here. The, that guy's looking over. Gotta wait for that guy, and then I can probably get... I want to get across the road, really. Well, there's another entrance to the apartment that way. Yeah, I can go now. I think I can probably get inside here. I don't think I can jump through the window, though. dual wield AK-47s, could you imagine? I feel like it would be so incredibly inaccurate, but, uh, still, you would do it, wouldn't you? I can burn that out, but I don't have any dynamite. I really, remind me when we go back to base camp to build that, guys. Oh, jeez, we're getting tons of rads suddenly. Okay, it's our friend. Oh, 
our Slav squatter friend. Stop right there. You're on Pripyat Bradford term now. Right, let's go ahead and trade. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? What about this uh, box of loot? He sells That'll loot boxes. Food ration. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade it. Sure thing. There you go. Here you go. It's just for you. Thank you, bro. I better be going now. Bradford forever, Igor. Right, all right. So this is the loot box. Oh, we got five mushrooms and one first aid kit. It's always worth it, man. I don't think I've got a bad thing from them yet. This place has loads of stuff upstairs as well. I don't know if I'll fully loot it right now, though. I don't even know where the bloody staircase is, to be honest with you. I think we'll just go outside because I'm literally heading towards the uh, NAR again. So we need to go over here and cross the road to um, our friend. I think we are ju literally just across this open field here. Can't see anyone. I think we are quite... Shit. There's a guy right there somewhere. Dude, I can't even see where he is. I think he... Oh, okay, he's right there. He looks kitted, though. And there's his friend is just there. Okay, I need to get in this building. I think we're going to have to go through the back entrance, though. Ooh, I don't know if you heard me there. What's the point of this game here? So, I uh, just got like a main storyline and then lots of uh, free roam exploration. So you have to kind of like survive um, and get ingredients and resources to improve your stats and whatnot while you're doing like the main storyline and trying to find your wife who passed away. Well, we think we we think she's dead. But we don't know why. Let's go underwater. No. <laughs> Some creepy ass sounds going on. I'm gonna save the game here. Before we meet this crazy creepy guy. I don't know if he's friend or foe yet. I feel like he could just be luring us out. It's upstairs somewhere. Another clue. Horace was an informant for the KGB. That bastard was my friend. If I could get my hands on him. It seems like a lot of people who, you know, in the Cold War in Russia, that was literally what it was like. Like every other person was like working for the KGB as a spy. As promised, below is a list of just a few of the many anti-communist and subversive contraband items I observe at Emil Emiliev. Emiliever's place. The possession was a bootleg and samizdats ridden with imperialist propaganda. Obscenity, violence, and insanity demonstrated exactly what kind of person Emiliever, Emiliever sadly really is and speaks volume of her anti Soviet character. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if this is just the tip of the iceberg. If I may be so bold, Major Kustavov. Kuzentov? Kuzentev? Tovsov? Oh my god. This is horrible for a dyslexic to read. I'm so sorry if you're Russian. I would like to take this opportunity to recommend placing her under surveillance and restricting her access to the vital projects as both at the power plant and the Duga facility. I believe that she may, she may, po she may pose a serious threat. Oh my god. Contraband list. Music albums. Sex pistols. Just like Kiss. All the classics, books, the art of love, all, all the classics. My god, what? how weird is that? What a creeper. We wanted to go through here though. 
Where's our friend? Should be around here somewhere. Some mushrooms growing in the bathtub. Oh, there's a secret way in here. Mouthy, hey, over here. Where? Is he upstairs? I'm getting some weird sounds. I'm a little bit. Why did the door just shut? Does it go any further up? Not that we can get. Mousy, hey, over here. Is this his house? This is pretty sick, actually. I quite like his style. Where is he? Enough jerking me around. What do you know about Tachana? Check your tongue, little one. Part of me still worries you could be a secret servant of the Rat King after that stunt you pulled. Who is this Rat King? A smart question. One that I've been trying to answer myself for years. The Rat King will usher in the end of days. He and his army of rodents. <laughs> They're a plague of biblical proportions. The end of all. Oh, I don't have time for this. Please get to the point, if there is one. You will make time once you see the truth. But never mind that for now. You have questions? Ask. Ask about Tatiana. Ask about the test. What's the business with destroying the Durga all about? Ask about Tatiana. I'm looking for my fiance. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. The last time I saw her was here in Pripyat, just before the Chernobyl incident. A long time, isn't it? What are you hoping to find exactly? I'm not sure, but... But she constantly haunts your dreams. Oh, I suspected as much. See here, I have gathered many documents, reams of them. Look through them, educate yourself. Quiet, Mousy. They're here. Oh, shit. Rat King got the better of us this time. Ah, they mustn't get their filthy paws on my archives. Oh, you never expected the second test to come so fast, eh? Let's hurry, Mousy. Sorry, Charles, I've literally just seen. Thank you so much for another $50 and another $20. My, dude, that's like $120 you've donated. Thank you so much, man. That's crazy, dude. That's, that's, thank you so much, man. I don't even know what to say. That's, I, I'm very thankful. Thank you. That's crazy. And, oh my goodness, I'm going to butcher your name. Iwolika, Iwoliko Ravenscroll. Thank you so much for the $8, man. You guys are being so generous and everyone just turned up. We've almost got 900 viewers on this game and the last episode didn't even have 6,000 views after I uploaded it. So it's amazing to have you all here watching live. Um, it, it's crazy. This guy is crazy. I love it. Agree with Tarkin and burn the documents. Ignore Tarkin and look through the documents. Mm, I don't know. I feel like last time we BM'd him by, by like, not following it. And I don't really care about these documents. They might have some info on Tatiana, but I, I don't really know. So, what do you think? Should we, should we read them or, or not? I'll let you guys decide this one. Completely in your hands. Yeah, it's, it's good fun with the story. Especially like with... I like all the elements and how they work together. It's like the best of everything, really. Read them, burn them, and... You got more people watching. Yeah. Don't read it. Burn, burn. Are you guys like saying burn? Read. Okay, a lot of people are saying read. Your choice. Read, 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 read. I mean, I was thinking burn them, but most of you are saying read. Okay, I'll do. I'll do what you guys say. We we'll ignore him again. You, you stupid man. He's like you're definitely working for the Rat King now. Let's ignore him then. Comrade Glukov, I appreciate your your enthusiasm and willingness to take part in the Operation Dorothy. 
All information you provide will be carefully checked. I will personally coordinate all activities carried out by the KGB in Pripat. The Motherland will surely reward you for your service. Splinter. So they're all working together. We kind of knew that already, but... You think you're playing a game, little Rattling? Do you think anyone can stroll into the zone and do what he pleases? The Rat King approaches, and you are a tool of his incoming reign of terror, whether you realize it or not. Here comes NAR to join the Rat Party. I think I shall leave you all to burn together. A heap of flaming, squirming rodents. I wish you had chosen differently, Igor. So is he gone completely then? Do we never see him again? <gasps> what? I'm gonna have... Ah, wait, wait, wait. How the... Ah. How do I get out of here? Jesus Christ, go set his whole apartment on fire to kill me. Quest completed. Meet him with Tarkan, the rat catcher. Wow. I love I love that guy. I'm almost like do we see him again? Because I'm tempted to reload if, if he's just out of the story now. I thought he was such a good character. What do you guys think? Charles, man, you're gonna have to be. <laughs> Dude, Charles, another super chat, my goodness. You, you don't need to keep donating to watch me, my friend. Thank you so much, though. I'm glad I'm in a position where I can donate for all of your content. I, I mean, it means the world to me that you can uh, support people like this. This is, that that's really, you guys are saying reload. Maybe reload, then burn. Really want you to finish game. Reload and burn, reload, reload, reload. Talking is crazy. Do you think, I don't know what the effect has. May as well reload. Reload for the plot. More plot. So did he just completely go? Does anyone actually know? If you see him. Anyone who's played the game, no. Um, I will reload for you guys. I don't know where it was. Was it here? Current checkpoint, 1520. I think that was... it. Woo, it would be like over here. I think autosave maybe outside read the documents again keep going yeah so I'm not muting melting uh I'm I'm seeing what you, okay most of you like to want me to reload I think you need to reload if you still want to see him Curiosity almost killed the cat, true. Okay, everyone's saying reload. I'll reload. Um, so this was our closest autosave, I believe. Because, yeah, it, it would suck. Everyone's saying Anakin reload. is a we'll, curious we'll do figure. Don't Wouldn't worry. You agree? I, I absolutely love his character, so I don't want to, like, not do what he says. people can also be very dangerous, uh, my love. Um, knowing that he literally set fire to his apartment and then left us kind of says to me that we won't be seeing him again. That was, like, our last chance. Um, so we should have burnt, burnt it. Curiosity killed the cat. Very true, man. Okay, yeah, we know we can just... Oosh. Wait, I didn't know this. Where, where am I? Yeah, we have to go in here. I must have completely missed this guy earlier, because um, I did not see him. 
Go ahead. Patrolling the Pripyat almost makes you wish you were someplace else. Oh, that's a full on New Vegas reference. Almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I need his friend to turn around before we can do something about this. These guys are just randomly spawned here though, right? Take down. There we go. See his friend just ran away so we can get inside here. They were right behind me, he wasn't kidding, was he? Alright, let's go upstairs. Just want to quickly loot this bathroom again. Oh look, all the loot's in different places as well. Because there were mushrooms in the bathtub last time, but they're not there now. Um, we read this. was an informant for the KGB. That no, bastard was my friend. If I could get my hands on him. KGB, KGB. Oh, can I reach that? I can. What is in there? How do I get inside there? Must have to go upstairs and drop down. That's usually the case. I can't go that way. Well, there must be another way around. This is the guy's house, isn't it? Hey, over here. Enough here jerking me around. What do you know about Tachana? Check your tongue, little one. Part of me still worries you could be a secret servant of the Rat King after that stunt you pulled. Who is this Rat King? A smart question. One that I've been trying to answer myself for years. The Rat King will usher in the end of days. All right, let's just skip ahead to... Um, we can ask about the test this time. See if he tells us anything. What's the story about the Duga Radar? Why do you want so badly for it to be destroyed? I wanted you to remember, and I wanted you to make a choice. I needed remember. to make sure you won't follow the Rat King's path. Quiet, Mousy. They're here. Oh, shit. Rat King got the better of us this time. Ah, uh, they mustn't get their filthy paws on my archives. Oh, you never expected the second test to come so fast, eh? This hoary, Mousy. So, the Rat King is the NAR uh, leader or something, I guess. And the way he said that about the past kind of makes me think, like, did we know him before or something? Anyway, we're 100% going to burn the documents this time, so we'll see what happens. I assume we have to escape again. Just make myself some pineapple G fuel, friends. One, sec one second. It's 30% off. Link below if you guys are interested. He talks kind of like Septimus. Yeah. How do I become a member of the channel? Have a problem joining? So there should be a join button down below next to subscribe that you should be able to click. Agree and burn the documents. Here we go. So we're going to kick off, I reckon. <laughs> that was weird animation. I don't think that's how candles work, but... Ow. Not really much I can... Oh, God. I'm going to have to go this way, aren't I? Ow, ow, ow. Get me out of here. Okay, I'm out. Good. I need to heal myself. I need some anti-rads. And I need to heal myself. I don't know if the KGB are coming. Oh wait, is this door open now or no, this how do I get in here? There must be another way around. I just don't know what it is. That's locked. Maybe you can get around here. 
Aha, it was. It was through here. Is that guy still down there, keep him guard? I can't see it. We're gonna probably have a bit of a gunfight when we get out the main entrance though. There's another thing we can discover over there as well. This is the door, I think. Oh no, it's just food rations in there. Let's go upstairs again. So that's the burning apartment. Yeah, I don't know how you get in that other room. Must be, a way. I'll probably try and figure it out later. Next time we're here or something. Oh, we can come in here though. This is the other floor, electrical parts. You think there was a guy right there? Or was it just the weeds? I don't know. Either way, that's a good escape route for me. I think we can go downstairs another floor. Guy right there. Alright, so we need to get out of here and go over here and then we are done with this area. I'll save the game again. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, guys. So the guy on the left is like fully kitted, so if he turns around, we could be screwed here. Oh, I'm going through the floor. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's not good. That is not good. Where's my plasma weapon? There it is. This is what we need, the big guns. He's got a shotgun. Where'd he go? Whoa! Wait, wait, I need to charge this up. Wait, did it not hit it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why can't I literally not move? I'm, like, stunned. Okay, that plasma thing doesn't really work very well from uh, a distance. Ah, Jesus Christ. This guy is kitted. Mate, he didn't care about those shotgun shots. Lucky we had the armor. Oh my god, how many guys are here? I'm gonna have some vodka. Before we get in this gunfight, because it's gonna affect me mentally. Best place to practice your aim is Valorant. <laughs> Oh, there's some nice herbs here. Alright. There was another guy there, right? I'm sure. Shit. Shit. Can I... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Uh! I need some more healing self. Oh my god, this is not good. He's got a shotgun. He gets bloody close. We're dead. Come in. Oh, mate, how the. Literally can't see it. We got into flinch, thank god. Okay, I want to try out the plasma launcher again. We're gonna... Oh god, okay. Okay, that missed. Is that him? I don't even know. I think I'm doing more damage to myself right now. This gun doesn't seem to be that useful so far in taking out... Oh, do you know what we need? We need the AK-47. This is what we need for this one. Oh, mate. He hurts. 
Yeah, that was a shotgun. I use up my rifle ammo rapidly. I don't think I, I've not even got a full clip left. So that's expensive to fire. <laughs> okay, that was that was good fun. I enjoyed that. That was very intense. I thought I was going to get out of it when they were all like in the bush right next to me. My psycho my um, psychotic has gone down a lot too. So once again. Just go for another heal. I've used all my healing literally just from that one encounter. Um, and we'll use this Psyche. There's lots of ingredients to quickly harvest as well around here. I think I've pretty much killed everyone, so. That was intense! go and grab all these ingredients now we get so many more uh, materials from everything we harvest pretty much just because you can go downstairs and they're interesting okay we can't get in there because we don't have the right uh we i need to build explosives when we go back don't let me forget how do we get out of here oh here's the door Right, so now we've got to go down here, which is left and straight on, essentially. My god, that's a lot of radiation. It's been hot area, hasn't it? The plasma gun, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't rate it. It's just so hard to, like, fire at enemies. But the damage was insane when we killed that guy at point-blank range. So there's some Chernobylite in here. You leveled up. Dude, that absolutely triggered me there. Getting 11 radiation by just being in this area. What is that? Oh, okay, okay. This is the chance um, we've been waiting for. I'm going to try and have a go. I don't know what this thing is. It looks quick, though. It looks like if you trigger it, it just takes off, right? Come on. Dude, come on. What? It is pissed. Jesus. Yeah, it didn't really do much. I just like lost half my health again, but it's dead now. All right, I think we're going to get out of here soon because I can see a, a nuclear storm over there. So I think we're going to get more enemies popping up very quickly as we stay here longer. So let's go ahead and equip this. Sadly, the plasma launcher. Do I think I need to like aim it at the ground? where there's like an impact and then when it explodes um it it will hit something or it's oh it's immune to it plasma gun but it says that it, it kills i don't know the description kind of sounded like it would be effective against mutants we'll just use guns for everything i guess everyone was successful we have so much food fantastic Everyone gets food. That was an intense battle we had there, though. How's it hanging, Professor Egghead? Oh, Mikhail, what is that devilish concophony blasting from our radio? Oh, you're obviously no fucking Gothnik, but you'll learn. This is the music of the zone. But you were born here. How can you not know this stuff? Well, don't forget I spent many years in the UK. James fucking Bond, remember? Right. <laughs> you definitely missed some vital history, like the collapse of the Soviet Union 
The Yanayev Uprising in Hard Pass. The last one sounds especially ominous. What's that? Not a big it's not music bass, though, is it? I love music. Listening to Tatiana play the violin is one of my fondest memories. Sibelius, Rachmaninoff, Stravinsky, Prokofiev, Shostakovich, even Vivaldi. Jesus H. Fuck nugget! You must be like a hundred fucking years old! Uh, I'm not, though I feel like it sometimes. We need to remedy this situation, Prano. I want you to listen to Sex, Kvass, and Hard Bass. It'll change your understanding of music forever! I have absolutely no doubt about that. Why do they keep calling it Bass? Um, we could get some more training in certain things. Want to no, train? actually. Just let's see. Fucking quick, will you? Let's see if, <laughs> let's see if, uh, if we give him an AK-47, that actually negatively affects his stats. Maybe I need to. No, it's just bad. His intelligence goes down by two. I think a pistol is like the best thing to equip companions with. Really, silenced pistols, just so good. Um, okay, so I am thinking, in that case, what do I want to spend my skill points on? I think it's probably worth upgrading our pistol damage by 25% now, since we are coming up against tougher enemies. What's new, Igor? Nothing much. What about you? Still thinking about Anton? Yeah. We had some great adventures together as mercenaries. I remember Anton talking about Kashem. What was that all about? Kashem was a nasty piece of business. How much do you know about the civil war in Syria? Not much. I've had other things on my mind. You and the rest of the world. Nobody cares about those people. For the big Sorry. players, Russia, the US, China, most of these war-torn countries are nothing but a playground for testing their weapons and making policy. It's called war by proxy. Us mercs usually play a supporting role to the armies on the ground, supplying intel, equipment, and tech. There's an unspoken rule that we never attack each other directly, but sometimes we get in each other's way, and then things can get out of hand. That's what happened in Kashem. Assad's forces, backed by Russian mercenaries, clashed with the SDF, which was supported by the US. The US used dozens of drones, fighter jets, and helicopters to pretty much annihilate the opposition. Anton and his mercenary buddies weren't equipped to deal with that kind of air superiority. He watched some of his friends die. He came close to getting killed himself. I admire your bravery and dedication, Olivier. And Anton's. Still, I can't help but wonder why we keep killing each other over some godforsaken strip of land. It goes against everything I believe. And I admire your idealism, Igor. But you're in the minority. And sometimes violence is the only way to solve a problem. Money. That's something I think you're going to learn in the near future. Oh, okay. Okay then. Train Do you think me, brother. Find some time to teach me some of your. <laughs> Skip the dialogue. Um, so precision, one skill point, twenty-five percent more damage to pistols, especially with the upgrades. It's big damage. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do it. Do that. Follow me, brother. I'm following. <laughs> Okay. That music's still in the background. Now focus, <laughs> Igor. You only fire on my command. Understood? No. Nope. You have five bullets for five targets. Easy. Stand straight, but knees relaxed. I only focus need three. on the front sight. <laughs> Make each bullet count. <laughs> Ready? Fire! I don't know I've got my gun out yet. Stand straight with your legs spread at shoulder width. Bend your knees a little for support. Oh, I, I was going to shoot. about your accuracy. Oh. Look at you, Professor. We'll make a guerrilla fighter out of you yet. Easy, mate. Five bullets, five targets. I am an expert. What's going on, Igor? Let's see what he Do can think, actually... Uh, he should have another precision training. You have one skill point. It doesn't tell me what I do. The bossy. Never mind. Um, I want to upgrade my stealth by one as well, but we'll do that later. Can them sure. I want to see if giving him an AK. Okay, so if I give him this AK, it actually improves his perception. If I give him the plasma gun, <laughs> it's just such a pointless weapon. I'm putting this straight in the locker. It was not worth crafting this. 
Oh, one sec. We can uh, move some stuff around here for storage. Take one of my AKs. Got so many AKs. I might need to build some kind of scrap disposal unit soon. Uh, I want to build some more food. And I also need to build the explosives. Thank you, guys. Oh, my camera went out. Okay. Don't worry. It just overheated. It will come back shortly. How long has that been out? Very long. I will build the dynamite as well. We'll do that first, actually, just because. Build generated disruptor field matter negator. Produces all kinds of upgrades. Shotgun. Plasma thrower. Liquid filled bullets. No. Railgun upgrades. So is it this stuff? Anti Chernobylite burner? Is that what it is that I need? Radiation chamber will allow you to self annihilate. By killing yourself this way, you will keep all our items. What? If you will ever find yourself in a hopeless situation, it will let you end your life quickly and painlessly. What? I feel like we need to build this at some point, but I don't know why. Dude, this station is huge. How big is this? I'm going to put it over here. The big power bank station. Um, this produces Chernobylite and anti-Chernobylite burner. Why does it need so much room at the back? Um, pick up. Put it here. Look at that data center, mate. Okay. Now we can make Chernobylite burners. And ironically, Chernobylite out of mushrooms and herbs. I'm probably going to need a few of these, to be honest. So, Because we come across these things like all the time. Uh, and then I need to build some... Radiation security has gone down, so we're going to need to build some more radiators. Why can't I not build this here? Oh, I don't have any mushrooms. Okay. I'm going to have to get some more mushrooms. Apparently, I should be able to harvest some from here, though. I can't harvest them. That's weird. More mushrooms, please. Oh, I have 7.7? .7. That's not enough, though, is it? It's not enough, friends. Um, build. It's minus 20. That's not good. Oh, I could create this to destroy items. And then we can um, fix our problem. I may be destroying something and getting some more mushrooms. How many more mushrooms do I need, though? Maybe I should just build one of these. I mean, it looks quite cool when we don't have one yet. Where do we put it is the question. I think down here will be quite good. Have a little anti-rad zone. Does it fit here? Yes, it does. Nice. The rad shower. Love it. Okay, we are going to need some more power and stuff later, but everything's positive at the moment, so that's good. I hope you're feeling more confident now. I am very confident now. The fuck you want? It's all nothing. It's all good. Uh, okay, so how much ammo do I have? I have enough ammo. We have only one metal plate, so we could build another one of those. 
just for armor. Probably want to upgrade to a tactical vest soon. So how does this work? I can deconstruct things now. So I could actually deconstruct all my, my weapons that I don't need. To take all of these. I'll leave the plasma thing for now. Maybe you guys can we can make a use for it later. Uh, so let's deconstruct this. Give me more ingredients. I might keep one pistol. Just so I can, like, if we do recruit someone else, I, I have that to give them. Uh, and then... I need some more healing ingredients now. I'll leave that in here, because we only need three on one mission. Do I have lockpicks? I've got five lockpicks, that's plenty. Um, okay. Sorry, inventory management, something I usually cut out, guys, is a little bit boring to watch, isn't it? So I need to make some more medical supplies. Anti-rad. Definitely some, need some more of that. And some uh, med kits. I have a lot of med kits now, so we should be fine. Also make some more of this. Don't have enough mushrooms. Okay, I think we're good to go to bed now. And begin the next day. Can you build something that will let you make your own rifle and ammunition? Yeah, you can upgrade it with like attachments and stuff. I just already have one that I found that has the attachments on it, so that's pretty useful. If I can get the camera to turn back on. Nice footage of Tatiana again. Do love to wake up in the morning and watch that. No news on the radio this morning. Hello, friends. Igor, hey, got a second? Just talk to my uh, business partner on the radio. What is it? Yeah, he's knee deep in the shit. NAR is after him. But well, that's to be expected if you keep taking from them and giving them to yourself, huh? I see. That kind of business. Let's not get bogged down with the details. Just check if he's okay, would you? He's hiding somewhere near the Pripyat port. Very well. I will check. If he's near the port. So, now we have to go over to the port and find him. Pripyat's port, Hermit. Mikhail asks you to find help him find his friend who has crossed the NAR and ended up on their hit list. This is a reclusive man. He may be serious trouble. Very well. All right, my friends. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here, but I'll probably be back later tonight for another live stream or worst case tomorrow, but it will probably be tonight for a live stream. So I will see you all then. I will... Uh, I'll probably go on Twitter and post a link to the live stream as soon as it's ready. Um, so you guys can set a reminder and see what time it is. It'll probably be around um, 8 or 9 p.m. UK time though. So guys, thank you so much for watching. My camera actually, for some reason, doesn't work right now. So uh, I can't turn it on. Uh, yeah, it's still, it's still a black abyss. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the likes on the video. I really appreciate it. And all those who donated, especially you, Charles. Um, with your ridiculous donations. Thank you so much, man. So I appreciate all your support. I will upload this live stream afterwards so you guys can watch it. Um, and I'll see you hopefully later on this evening for some, some more gameplay because uh, I'm loving this right now. But I'll cool down my camera and catch up with you guys later. Goodbye. Have a lovely day.